Every year, thousands of people die due to inadequate dust control, but still the industry fails to recognise the scale of the problem. All too often, this is seen as a box ticking exercise and cites higher dust control without correctly assessing the hazard and identifying the correct equipment that will provide real protection. So in this video, we'll be showing you the difference in air quality when using suitable dust control compared to using inadequate control and not understanding correct methodology. So this is the workshop we've set up to do our trials in. Um, we've screened it off, we've put a temporary screening around this end so we can demonstrate a negative pressure system. So this is what we'll be using, it's a diamond wall chaser. We've built a wall up along here which is a temporary wall and the idea being is we'll be running a series of slots up it so that we can replicate the same test conditions to demonstrate how much more quickly and how much better controlled the environment is with the proper equipment in place. This is what we'll be using to measure the dust levels in the room. It's measuring in real time, giving us analysis of the different weights of dust and different size particles that have been created. And we'll be able to see how long it takes to get back to safe conditions within the work area. So this is probably the last time we see this room this clean for the day, so we'll go and get on. We'll be wearing a powered respirator. This is to make sure that even while working with no other controls, we're still protected. So for today, for this demonstration, we're joined by Mike Slater, who's an experienced chartered occupational hygienist and a past president of BOHS. There's many uh, common operations and tasks that are carried out on construction sites that create dust. And the workers carrying out the uh, job and people who are working in the vicinity are going to be exposed to that dust. And what people don't always realise is just how hazardous that can be. The good news is that it's possible to do something about this and stop people being exposed to the dust uh, and leading to the development of these diseases. I've been here on site today uh, working with RVT. Uh, what we've been doing is uh, simulating a typical activity that you're likely to find on a construction site that generates quite high levels of dust. Wall chasing is a common activity on site which causes a substantial amount of dust. The following footage demonstrates how quickly the atmosphere becomes contaminated without using any dust control equipment. So one of the things we tried to do today is to look at the different types of control measures that can be used to reduce the exposure of workers in the vicinity of the task like the wall chasing and to see just how effective they are and to compare the different measures. The following footage is a demonstration of the on-tool extraction unit without any additional controls. Whilst the on-tool significantly reduced the ambient dust levels, they still peaked at 150 mg per metre cubed for a short period. This suggests that the on-tool would be unlikely to have reduced the ambient concentration to an acceptable level for any workers in the vicinity. Here we are using RVT's Dustex Dustmaster as the only dust control measure. Visually you cannot see much of a difference between this footage and the previous footage. However, dust levels only peaked at 65.2 mg per metre cubed when using the Dustmaster, compared to readings off the scale when using on-tool extraction. This highlights that just because you can't see large volumes of dust, it doesn't mean that the environment is safe to work in if the correct control measures are not in place. As we've seen here today, the three basic principles of effective dust control is one, capture the dust at source before it comes airborne, two, contain the work area to minimise dust spreading, and number three, create a negative pressure. RVT strives to help site workers understand these three basic principles of effective dust control and that by applying correct methodology, lives can be saved. There's a real need to raise awareness in the construction industry about the problems associated with dust and how they can be controlled. Unfortunately, initiatives like the BOHS-led Breathe Freely campaign and the work being done by RVT and other organisations is really helping to raise that awareness. RVT is passionate about protecting long-term health on site and it is our mission to help workers realise that dust control is not just a box-ticking exercise. 
RVT Group, protecting long-term health on site because every life counts.